Hi guys, uh, welcome to the Naked Jedi blog. So Jedi Joy has photographic memory. So she doesn't have to take a photo of everything. I, when she first told me that, I, I said, that doesn't really exist. And now I realize that it does. And she has it. And, and, I, and she uses it a lot in lots of various ways. One way she used it was one time we were out walking around and I dropped one of my gloves. The other thing, it was very useful for her in the Air Force on an AWACS. So what that meant was an AWACS surveillance plane, that's that one that, that has a big radar around and it flies and it makes sure the place is secure for all the fighter jets and even the President of the United States. In fact, one of her missions was surveilling for the President of the United States. That's kind of the level that she was at in the Air Force. And what came in really, her specific job was identifying things that they, they weren't able to identify. It was also very useful when Jedi Joy noticed that a truss hadn't, a truss that had been mounted had a, had a white crane on it, and that white crane that they affectionately used to call Jaws, hadn't moved in like over 40 days. <laughs> I mean, she's like, she's like, why are you doing that? I, I, what are you talking about, Joy? They know what they're doing. You know, like, da, 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 da. And then one day we come out there and they'd taken it down, that same truss that had been sitting up there for 40 days. And we're like, what? They took a truss down. And we're like, why did they do that? Of course, no one is saying anything. There's nothing in the news, nothing from Rick Vallada, nothing from Don Webb, nothing from Mick Akers, nothing from none of them guys. So we go down there in the morning, a couple, a couple times. We're like, we're down early in the morning and we catch one of the iron workers walking to work. And we asked him, we said, hey man, why is that, why did they take the truss down? And he looked at us and he said, he said, because they, because the dummies put parts on upside down and they have to rebuild it. And we said, how many of them have to come down? About half of them. <laughs> So what it appears to me was, I don't mean to be laughing. I'm only laughing because everyone made fun of Jedi Joy and I saying we were nuts for saying that, that, that it was okay to take a structurally mounted sound truss down, hammer it out, bang around with it, move bolts, move structures, put it back up and expect the structure to stand the way it did on the blueprint design in the computer office. That's one thing that Don Webb had said. He said, we put a truss up there and it didn't fit. He blamed it on the engineers. He said, you know, when you sit, you can look it up, Mick Ackers wrote it. Uh, it was written, I believe, June 17th. And, and when, when asked why it didn't fit, basically he said, look, the reason why it didn't fit is because in life, it ain't like those engineers that sit in an office with an air condition and they got their computers and their computer aided, aided design and everything's geometrically precise and calculated. That's not how it works out here in the real world. Thing was is that they put them on over half of them, but they only brought one trust down. Now, as I looked into it further, if you start reading some of the old articles, what they did was, instead of bringing all the trusses down because they didn't have enough time to do any of that, They'd have to dismount 10 trusses and bring them all down and put them back up. There's no way they'd complete the stadium in time. So they came up with another plan. That was to remove the structural bolts. This is as precise of a project as a Swiss watch, is what Don Webb, a 17 acre Swiss watch. So he said it was an eighth of an inch off. It's both sides, so it's a quarter of an inch off. But what they do for the other nine is that they took the structural bolts out, they shimmied them down, and then they jammed them back in there <laughs> and hammered them in and screwed them in, whatever. I don't even, it basically sounds like, like he just made it fit. Now what an original blueprint plan means is that, that, that when you got developers and all these contractors, there's an agreement, a contract, and that original blueprint plan cannot be messed with or tampered with. There's certain parts of it that you can't tamper with is that when you start tampering with the, stru the, the core structure of a building, you know, there's physics involved. And that's where I learned that you never, ever, ever touch a structural beam. They, they said that were structural members that were written in the paper. They said structural members were overstressed. Overstressed is another word for broke. For those who don't know, I mean, 
I get a lot of shit for, for saying, oh, you've never been on a construction site. You've never been on that. Well, two things. Number one, you don't know what I've done. Number two, my dad owned a hardware store. And when he got cancer, I ran it for five years. Uh, but trying to figure out a really, really cool way to end my goddamn show. I've really been working on that. I'm kind of thinking like something like, you know, hey, if you need, listen, if you're building a stadium and you don't have the Jedi walking around it, checking it out, posting shit to YouTube for you, then you don't have a stadium that's going to be built safely.